Ahoj, this is Zdenka. Take a piece of paper and write down these questions. Trust me, just do it. How is my camera making me money? Where am I at in my life right now? Am I truly happy? Those are some tough questions. A few weeks ago, I published a video called This is why everyone is quitting YouTube. And in that video, I mentioned Vanessa Lau. Well, coincidentally, a week ago, she published a video where she's explaining why she quit YouTube. And that made me think about myself. And it made me think about all of you who are using cameras to make a living with. It made me think about all of you who are using social media for their businesses or who are using smartphones to earn a living with through social media. Because this is what I do. I teach people how to use cameras and smartphones. And it made me also think about all of you who are thinking about starting a YouTube channel or who are already on YouTube. In this video, let me take you through my photography and YouTube history and let me share with you some real numbers. When I started photography in 2004, glamour shots makeovers were profitable. Microstock photography was profitable. Weddings were profitable. It was easy to book a $5,000 wedding. All three areas changed over the time. Now you are happy to book a $2,000 wedding or less in my area. I've been on YouTube for six years. First two years, I wasn't making much money from YouTube ads revenue because my channel was very small. I was not also making money on paid sponsorships, only a little bit from affiliate marketing. Once I was on YouTube for two years, I started making a little bit money from YouTube ads revenue, but mostly I was really making a living off affiliate program and specifically Amazon affiliate program. I was making pretty good money. It was about $2,000 a month. Two years ago, Amazon changed commission rate. Now I am making only between two to three hundred dollars a month. Last month actually was only hundred dollars commission. And this is happening, my friends, with most of the affiliate programs. They are making the commission rate over the time smaller and smaller. Once I was on YouTube for four years, I started making pretty good income from YouTube ads revenue. It was around three thousand dollars a month. A year ago, everything changed. We are making now 60% less in ads revenue. On top of it, the algorithm has changed. It's not as much anymore about how many subscribers you have. It's all about the views. I've seen bigger channels than mine having a lot less views than I have. All these rapid changes can really mess up with many people. Stress, eating, depression, fear, forgetting to work smarter rather than harder not enjoying the camera, not enjoying the life, not smiling, avoiding people, closing yourself in a room. I've been there last year too. And then you start seeing all the big YouTubers quitting and that scares you. It scared me quite a lot too. That's why everybody is talking about it right now. That's why everybody is discussing that topic. So what can we do to avoid all of this? So what can we do to prevent this from happening. Number one rule, get in your head that YouTube ads revenue doesn't exist. It's your bonus check. Next time, before you post anything on social media or YouTube, ask yourself a question. How can my camera make me money without relying on ads revenue, sponsorships and affiliate programs? Because I want to create a content that makes me happy and my, makes my audience happy. I want to create content I want to create. I don't want to create a content just to survive here on YouTube to pay the bills. And that content sometimes actually upsets the audience as well. So how can we avoid this? Well, you have to be very careful and you will understand why with this next question. How can I make money with my camera without creating this giant business monster that will make me work harder and harder more often, nonstop, that will eventually lead into burnout? Let's answer the second question. Where am I at in my life right now? Let me answer mine. I think I'm in my hardest right now. 
I thought having little kids was busy. I have two teens who are both involved in competitive sports, so it's extremely busy. We have only one day off without any of that, and that are Tuesdays. I can only work between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and some other times where I'm able to steal some time for work. There is not really much time for me right now, except Thursdays, 8.45 to 9.15 p.m. This is when I am in a dance studio doing hip hop classes. Yeah, I shake my butt there. And this is the only time I have for myself and I need it so bad. This is my me time. This is where I can be myself. I can let everything go from my head. I can just enjoy what I am doing. It's all about the family right now. Cooking, cleaning, driving, all that. The tasks are piling nonstop. My husband helps sometimes when he's able to, but he works odd hours, so I cannot really rely on him that much. Sometimes it feels like I'm just trying to survive until they get older and they are independent and they can drive on their own. It's very different to live here in Canada versus Europe. Everything here is very spread out and you have to drive literally everywhere. Wednesdays, for example, I drive to dance studio four times. So I spent that day in a car just driving alone two and a half hours. And I'm not even talking about cooking. There are no lunch programs here at schools. So you have to make the lunch in the morning, send it with them to the school. If you're in your 20s or 30s, you have no family, no kids, your life is completely different right now. Or if you are retired, enjoying your life. One thing I regret is that I didn't read enough of books about business. That would have made my life as a creator much easier. I learned the hard way through the life experiences. So what can we do? A simple formula. As a creator, you have to come up with a base passive income. Every time you are going to post a video, you must be selling something from your store whether it's digital or physical, and it has to be on autopilot. So no coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching or group sessions. That requires additional time. It's not really a passive income. You need to create the product once and it needs to be selling for you for a long period of time. If you have a cooking channel, for example, you can create a PDF recipe from that video and offer it to your audience for free in exchange for an email. Why? Because if something happens with your channel, you need to be able to reach out the audience to let them know what happened or where they can find you next. That PDF file can have a link to your entire recipe collection, which you can sell for a smaller amount. It doesn't have to be high. Remember, you're not trying to be a millionaire here. You're trying to cover your production costs. So you can create better and more content for the future. Create digital products that will really help people, that will give them the answers they are looking for, that will make their life easier. Every video you're going to post should have something like that. The more videos you make, even if a small percentage of people grab something here and there from your store, eventually it's going to pile up and it's going to cover your production costs. So you're not dependent as much on YouTube ads and sponsorships. Of course, you need those as well. The balance is a key here, but not so much. I'm going to finalize my plan for 2024 and I'm going to link it below. I'll share it with you. Let's answer the last question. Are you happy? Are you truly happy? Yes and no. Yes, I'm incredibly happy to have this job. I am incredibly happy to have such an amazing audience out there. I do all my best to read all your comments and I try, I really try to respond to everyone. It's just, you guys are amazing. There are so many amazing people out there in the world. Huge virtual hug to all of you. I'm also super happy to have a healthy family and seeing teens succeed at school and in their sports. Why did I say no, I'm not happy? I just want to go back to my roots. I just want to grab the camera and create memories, whether it's photography or video. I just want to create memories. That's why the last video was shot in Port Perry, filming outdoors. It was the first 
touch of it, the first dip. I just want to create memories. We live in a world where everyone is on their smartphones, living on social media. When you look around, you see people taking photos and you know those are not to create memories. Those are quick shots, snapshots for socials. Many people are tired of that constant buzz, including my 14 years old, who recently is starting to watch very authentic content on YouTube. And he says, I'm just tired. I just want to chill. Many people have such a busy lifestyle that they don't really have time to socialize. So finding that friend through authentic content online right now is their goal. Here is a photo my friend Frank took. Just a quick snapshot. In a bit, you will be looking at the photo differently. Listen to this. Back in 2015, I was in hospital after being diagnosed with a blocked artery. I spent a week there waiting for a heart bypass surgery to go around the blockage. I felt great all that week, spending time on my phone, on Facebook, scrolling as nurses checked in on me. Sunday night before the Monday morning operation, I started getting chest pains. Nurses came in to see me. Within less than five minutes, I was unconscious, heart stopped no vital signs, just like that. I woke up briefly and looked up at the nurse standing over me, pounding on my chest. I could not figure out what she was doing. It was a CPR. I blacked out again and the nurses defibrillated me twice to restart my heart. I was rushed to an operating room to have stents put in the artery to open the blockage. I never received the bypass surgery, but I was alive, I think. I woke up the next morning in the intensive care unit. My nurse came in to check on me. I asked her to pass me my cell phone. As soon as I had the phone in my hand, I held it up and I took the photo. Shining through the windows of my ICU room was the most glorious sunrise I have ever seen. In my life, I have seen many sunrises and sunsets, but this one has never been forgotten. A new day was beginning and a new life was given to me. Suddenly, Facebook and the internet were the last thing on my mind. My nurse, Casey, saw a couple of tears rolling down my face. She understood my thoughts. She held my hand beside my bed and we watched the sunrise together. I was given a second chance to live life. All the things I thought to be important were nothing. Live every day with hope and passion and dreams. Forget the small stuff. Life is special. Don't waste a minute of it. Well, I hope I will never take photo like that in my life, but this photo is clearly about creating a memories. And this is what I want as well. I want to create memories with my camera. I want to go more back to the roots. And I think that I want to keep going with those videos as well, because I think we can relate on so many levels and we can go deeper besides just creating videos about software and teaching you stuff and all the technical stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching my content. Don't be afraid to share the answers to the questions in the comments below. You know, I'll read it all. And hopefully the plan for 2024 when it comes to content creations will help you again. It's going to be linked below. More videos like these are coming up, so don't forget to subscribe. And for now, check out one of these videos next. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.